Well, good afternoon. This is Nancy at FancyNancyStamps.com and I want to welcome you to my studio. It's a gorgeous day here in Spokane, Washington. We're looking at 90 degree temperatures and we're enjoying summer. But that does not keep me from having fun in my studio. And today we're going to be trying out something new. Um, so, or at least it's new for me. It may not be new for you, but it was a new technique I learned this weekend and I've been playing with it all day and I just can't wait to share it with you. I am using, um, once again, my artistically inked stamp set, but this time I'm also adding to my plethora of stamps also the um, alcohol inked image that came in the paper pumpkin um, kit this month. And so you're gonna see that slip in here. I'm also gonna be using colors of uh, navy blue and just jade. I believe that's right. Navy blue and just jade, that's right. And so let me just, um, I've got a lot of information for you today from my clubs to um, uh, summer shenanigans, to let you know how that's going. Uh, and that'll come up at the end, so just give me a chance to get there. But first of all, I wanna show you some of the, the things we're gonna be using. So here we go, we have our um, stamp set which is artistically inked and I'm going to be using this this alcohol um, blended look so that's the main stamp I will be using sentiments from inspired thoughts and I think they're absolutely beautiful so I'll be bringing that in as well these are my colors and I think I just think they're fun together so we have our just jade our navy blue and of course I'm going to be using white for um, the very um, technique I'm going to use and two inks I'm going to be using Night of Navy and Just Jade as well. I'm going to be showing you also some um, um, embellishments in a minute but let's just get started because I want to show you what I've been up to which you're going to say yes she's been up to something. I watched a um, I watched Rachel Tessman this weekend doing her alternative uh, cards for Paper Pumpkin, and she made her own um, expressions in ink paper. And so I, this morning I decided I was get, going to get up and try it. So let me tell you the order in which this took place. I started out with using um, shaded spruce and just jade. Um, so those are my color combinations as you can see and then I added the gold which is gonna which is the technique I thought that my gold is too clumpy it's too too much gold it, it takes away from the pretty uh, image so I'm working on this we'll come back to it so the next thing is I thought that it was too boring with just one color or one shade or the monochromatic look so this time I added my um, Night of Navy and my Just Jade and I'm liking my color combinations lots better and I put a lot less gold in there and so you can see how I did that. Okay so I'm going to even try for less this time and I'm going to show you how I did this and this is so fun. So let's just get going. Let's start out by preparing that piece of paper, that white, um, so that we are ready um, because there's a glue matter that has to dry so so let's just get started so these once again these are my two stamps and I decided that the bigger stamp which actually is a lighter image than than the small one from paper pumpkin that I was going to use the just jade and the real trick was getting each time I stamped close enough uh, to each other so let's just start out with this I wanted to go off the page so you can see what I'm doing and like I said I want to get it close so I'm going to turn this over and then see I almost want it to go over the top and I, I accomplished that this time woohoo dance same thing over here Hmm. Mm hmm. What do I want to do? 
I'm going to stop for a minute, do some blue, and come back because, oh, how I worked on this today. So now we're going to just put our Knight of Navy in. And so, I left a little vein area. That's good. The wider edge. Oh, I just have so much fun with this. I love this. Okay. You can see I've got a little white space, and that's exactly what I'm working on here. the top back to a little bit of green here And I'm going to put just a little tiny bit of blue in the corner. Okay. I'm really satisfied with that. I've got some white. I've got some places for some gold, but not too much. And I love the colors. So let's just set this aside for a minute. Now, Rachel Tessman's next job was typically, if you've used the gold gilding, you know that we put heat, we, we stamp with our Versamarker, then we heat that up, and then we add the heat and stick powder. And, and then um, we heat that up, and it gets a nice sticky uh, finish, and then we compress our gold gilding into it, and it works very well. Well, what happens? Do we always have to do, is there, an, is there an alternative? And so that's what this is about. So let's just try this out. We're going to use um, our mono liquid glue and we're going to squeeze it, but not in, not in um, a thick, gloppy way, but rather just kind of a, a little, like a little stream because that's what we want here. So we're going to put it in these little spots. And that's where I want my little gold to stick. Some of these are a little bigger spots than others. And you can, what, what I discovered is that you can actually do it in two steps. Now, one of the things that I learned from watching Rachel was this glue will dry to a nice tacky finish. And so we have to let it dry. Now, in the event that I'm not satisfied with the one I just did, we've got this one. But I prepared one just for what we're about to do. Now, I don't know if you can see the tacky places, but it is definitely tacky to the touch. And I'm gonna get out my gold gilding. And, yes, I do keep it in a shoebox kind of thing because this stuff takes off Woo. and I'm going to just lay it on these um, and press gently on these areas where I have already added my glue and I can kind of and I'm going to show you as she did she used um, she put together a little spongy thing that works pretty cool be patient that's the most important thing I can say about this whole activity, is be patient. And um, just work it through. I'm just gonna put one little piece on at a time. This is kind of fun. It's like, what is it like? Um, it's like finger painting in a sense. 
Um, I'm just putting this stuff on. Now, she took and just made a sponge because it gives you a semi kind of um and very gently, I think you can see, I am just wisping it away from some of those areas so that I can get all that extra up. And you, when you see those rough edges, just keep working on them. It'll come up. And I have a couple of areas that are a little bit mm, heavier than I was hoping to achieve because I'm trying to get better at that. Do I have any? And you can just gradually just kind of touch it. And you can see if you've got any little spots left that are tacky. Because believe me, they are tacky when they're tacky. Whew. Actually, this is pretty good. What do you think? It's got a little bit of gold, not too much. I wonder what my next one will turn out like. I'll probably have to post that on my blog just so you can see. But for our purposes, we've got her done. We've, we've got one to work with. Okay, so let's keep going. I'm gonna to put together this card and let's talk about our dimensions a little bit. Oh, I kinda of like this. Yes, sorry. This one corner is a little heavy for me and if I had to do it over, I'd make sure I didn't have that heavy of a corner. But I do like, I do like how it feels right now. So I've got an eight and a half, an eight, it's eight and a half by five and a half piece of paper. I'm going to fold it in half to make my card base and I'm going to give it a good hefty hearty crease with my bone folder. Remember bone folder is a must in your toolkit. And then I am going to take my um, just jade paper. I have cut this to three and three and three quarters by five. I'm hoping I've, I've cut this down. I did. And I'm going to put that right on. I'm going to back this particular piece. I'm looking for my tape here. We can have a little bit of fun. I think with practice, I could get really good at this. I'm still, still kind of fussing over that corner but I really think I could get good. I decided I wanted to put a little ribbon on this, so I went to my ribbon storage today and I found this, um, it's in color ribbon, and I know it was in last year's catalog, I didn't check to see if it was in this year's catalog, but it's just jade. And I am going to Trying to think how if I'm going to do this side. Ooh, if I put it at the bottom, it's not going to show as much. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to do this, and I generally do what I call a poor man's bow. And what that means is I want to save on my t on my um, ribbon as much as I can. So I cut it and simply put a a bunch on the back, a bunch of tape top and bottom. Come on, baby. There we go. And yeah, I'm gonna like this. And then I'm gonna cut a piece of ribbon, much smaller piece, and just kind of slide it under. create just a single knot. My customers who hate tie bows think this is the bomb. So, because it was a nice, pretty, 
finished look, but at the same time, it didn't take a lot of effort, and usually we can't mess it up. And I just say usually. There we go. Okay. Now this is ready to go on that front. Okay. So let's give it a whirl. sure I get a nice uh, 3 8 inch trim around it okay many of you have probably seen I'm looking for it right now so I can show it to you the beautiful ephemera pack that came with expressions in ink and there's just all these beautiful little pieces I haven't I, I feel like it's gonna explode for me when I open it all up but you can see all these great little pieces in here and I made a choice I decided that I wanted to use this this particular piece and this was in the center of it I, I cut it out but this is where, where I want to put this right about here so I thought about it so I just want to lay it there for a minute so you can see it's capturing the gold and this is what was on the inside and thought so I thought well what would happen if I just would cut a piece pretty close to it and just trim off and then I would have a piece to go underneath that with my sentiment in it. So that's what I did. There's really no, nothing fancy to it, just did that. So now I've got my little start and I decided I wanted to make this a sympathy card, so I'm going to do the with heartfelt sympathy. I'm going to do it in navy blue because I think it'll really pop on this particular card. There we go. I'm going to use that again, so I'm just going to leave it for a minute. Now, if you can just kind of picture this, this is going to just go over the top like that okay so I need to decide where it's going to go on the card so that the rest will fit over very nicely so it's got to come over here just slightly I'm going to put my tape on the back and then lay this out one more time I want to make sure have it right okay so now here we are this is going to go down there we go now I am going to apply just a little bit of um, glue because it'll be a little a little bit more forgiving I see I already got more than I probably need. I want to hold that little center piece in because it will take off on me. Okay, here we go. But that's not enough. I, I, I want this to, to really shine. So there were some other pieces of the ephemera, and I thought, well, maybe, of course, I've now used my glue, but maybe I could tuck. No, I think it better be over here. Maybe I could tuck it over here. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to add a little glue again. I love the feeling when it goes beyond the edge because I think it just, it's just more interesting. There we go. And this little tiny piece is going to get a little glue too, just in a few little spots, just like a 
can tell I'm going to be cleaning up my desk from my little glue adventure here. So that's what I'm picturing on the front, but I always have to stamp the inside of my card. So let's just see what we're going to put in there. I am going to do the same thing with the white on the Just Jade, but let me just look here. What do I want to do? I think I just want to... I think I'm going to get another piece of our beautiful ephemera. I think I'm going to get these gold leaves right here. I'm going to use that down in the corner. And I think I'm going to use words from inspired thoughts. And I think it's going to be this sheltering you with love at a time when words fall short. So let's just do that with the blue, with the navy, Night of Navy ink. Beautiful. And let's add a little goodness to the back of these leaves so it's nice and snug. And then we're going to put it here. This is kind of fun. So what do you think of this little, it's really doable, don't you think, to use the glue? But it takes practice to get it as narrow and fine as you want it to be. I'm Like I said, I'm anxious to try out the piece that, because that was the finest I had ever done it. So first you just want that gold to show and then you realize that it's one of those things where less is more and you just have to practice with it. Okie dokie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is pretty. There we go. And my card is done. So it's with heartfelt sympathy, sheltering you with love at a time when words fall short. And I think that is really fun with just enough pop. Just, oh, I still have more. I'm so glad I said that. Pop and gold. And I thought some of these would be beautiful. And I know these are left over from a paper pumpkin kit. They are gold um, uh, sequins that I just think are so pretty. There we go. Just gave it enough little punch to make it very special. So there you have it. Now, let's talk a little bit um, about what's coming up at Nancy's Stampin' Studio. Alrighty, so many of you are already pretty engaged with the summer, summer shenanigans because summer shenanigans is going to be a lot of fun. And on the 20th of the month, how many days away is the 20th? Let's see, 20th. Today is the 6th. So you see we've got four, we have two more weeks before we have the first drawings. So you still have a chance to really shake it up a little. So you get entries into summer shenanigans several ways. Number one, attend a class. Uh, you can do that in my studio or you can do it um, online. And I do have some classes coming up. In fact, until tomorrow, you can still sign up for the um, In Color Club. This month, I believe the color is Evening Evergreen and we'll be working with um, Bloom Where You're Planted. So, oh, I can't wait, it's gonna be beautiful. Um, let me tell you about that. Um, In Color Club is $43 shipped to your door, uh, $35 if you're doing a porch pickup, and you will receive a package, a ream of the Color of the Month paper. You will also get the classic ink pad and the reinker, and you will get the alcohol blends to go along with it. 
Um, it's a five month commitment. At the end of five months, you also will get a package of the designer series paper, uh, the in color designer series paper and some matching gems. But that's not all. Every month when you get those colors, you also get a stamping kit. And the stamping kit is um, uh, everything you need to make eight cards. And you have four different designs. You're gonna do two each of each of those designs. And ooh, they're beautiful. I can tell you that already. They are beautiful this month and I'm really excited. And as I said, it's bloom where you're planted. If you do not have that stamp set and you wanna add it, you will do that. I will pay the tax and, and ship. So that comes to you at an 18% discount, which is really awesome. How do you get involved in, in my my class? Well, the, it's really quite easy. You simply um, send me uh, an, e an email or you respond here. I want to do this club. Help! Um, but really the best thing is go to my blog and the directions are right here in the um, above the the Facebook Live, um, go there and there's a sign up sheet and I will come to you and let you know. You will also see that there's a place that says I want to join under my classes and it'll it'll bring you to me also and I will, we will have a conversation obviously via email, but we'll get that done and we'll get you signed up. So, but tomorrow night at six o'clock is my cutoff for the In Color Club. We also have an uh, online card club and the cutoff for that I think is I, have, I always have to look them up it's um, the third Wednesday of the month so and then it ships on the, the last Friday of the month and that kind of sums it all up and this month it's expressions and ink is the um, the stamp set oh, oh I can't wait for you to see the, the cards they are beautiful and it works the same way that particular kit is um, a little different in that it's it's a it's a subscription and the same thing when you are on my blog you will see there's connections and when you're on my website you'll see that there are ways to get to my classes and um, it's so easy and I get then I contact you and we just get moving on it um, but it is a $36 commitment each month if you just say gosh I don't know what's this gal really do if you just want to check out my classes, for heaven's sakes, um, sign up for one month only. And it's a $40 charge and you can make a decision for the future if you'd like to continue on with my club. But that one, you get lots of product as well as that card kit. And you will have the opportunity to purchase um, the bloom, the bloom where you're planted. Um, no, no, no. Expressions. <laughs> I got it. I'm losing it. Um, the artistically inked uh, stamp set goes with that one. So we'll be, we will, we'll be in t conversation. So if you attend a class, that's, that's an entry. If you spend $50 or more um, in, in my store, that's also an entry. And um, so for instance, if you add the bundle that goes with the class, it looks like you've already found yourself purchasing yet uh, enough to get that uh, entry that you might want. So there you are, you have, you can attend a class, you can make a purchase, oh, but there's more. If you're watching my video right now, just give me a thumbs up. No, you gotta comment. It's not just a thumbs up. You have to comment so I know who you are so that I can give you credit and um, add your name and entry to my um, drawing. Um, also, these go on to YouTube, and uh, if you watch them there, you can get th the same way. Leave a comment, and I will give you credit. Um, summer shenanigans is a hoot because we are going to do a drawing June 20th, July 20th. No, we're in July right now. July 20th, August 20th, and September 20th. Um, and then there will be a grand prize. So all of the chips and all of the entries will go all back into the bucket for the grand prize. And that is a $50 um, shopping spree with me. So I hope that this is something that is going to say, yes, I want that. And you will come and join me. So that's our fun. That's our summer shenanigans. I've told you about the clubs. I've told you about online and I've told you about in color. Um, I am... I have moved my time for my, my card making and talking to you to uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays at four o'clock. And that seems to 
work with my schedule a little bit better and um, we're gonna have fun I hope you stick with me and we continue to make cards together and uh, I will let you know on Thursday how that um, last artistically inked piece of paper came out or I might even take a picture and put it on my blog so that's just a little teaser and um, above all I just want you to have a great day happy stamping and I look forward to being with you guys again have a great evening